Okay, this is a uh, quick tutorial on how to rig a dragon's wing in a blender. And as you can see here, we'll go to the side view. Uh, the rig is very simple, but uh, you have a lot of control actually. Uh, by scaling this one bone here, you can have the wing uh, fold and stretch. Uh, if you do it too far, of course, it'll flip over like that. But uh, you can also move this one bone around, and you'll see that the fingers of the upper wing will follow that and you can also uh, rotate this around to get different effects okay you can also by rotating this you can have the fingers of the wing also stretch along and uh, by rotating it back and forth that way you can get sort of like a you can rotate it back and forth and you can get the uh, kind of like the wind blowing over the wings kind of effect All right. I'll clear all the uh, stuff there. And also, um, by rotating this uh, bone here, you can get the entire thing to move. And finally, by uh, moving these uh, targets here, you can get the individual uh, fingers of the wing to move back and forth. And finally, when you rotate these end pieces, uh, you can uh, have the uh, ends of, of the wing fingers kind of curl over. So uh, how did we uh, go about doing that? Um, it's pretty easy. Uh, I'll switch back to the normal bone view mode so you can see what's going on here. Uh, so I rigged up this um, bone setup like this. I just uh, drew these bones here going up and uh, I wonder if I should show you that. Well I'm not going to show you the entire thing. I'm just going to show you the rig. But basically you can see here what we've done is I've just drawn these bones and these uh, fingers of the upper part are attached, are parented to this, okay? I'm calling this the mid-wing hinge, okay? These are all parented to that and so is this. Uh, this bone here, which is the target holder, it holds all of these um, targets here. See, I have the upper wing target, the mid wing target, and the lower wing target. You can see their names down here. Okay, those are all parented to this target holder. This this target holder is parented uh, to this hinge. So that way, <clears throat> when you move this hinge, uh, the targets move with it. But the targets are also uh, independent of the rest of the bones. So uh, the other thing I did was I... Uh, each finger uh, bone has a IK constraint, and the IK uh, points to one of these target objects here. So as you can see, this, uh, let's switch back to the stick mode so you can see it better. Okay, so this finger bone uh, has an IK, uh, has this target as its uh, IK target, okay? And this one has this bone as its IK target, and this one has this bone here as its IK target. I'll rotate it so you can see it better. Okay. And uh, click on this and you'll see that I just created an IK uh, constraint and set the chain length to one so that the whole like rig doesn't flop over or whatever. But uh, that's really all there is to it is you have these IK targets and they are parented to this one um, target holder. And uh, because of the way the IK works in Blender, when you uh, because all of these are, are pointing at these little targets here, and these targets are parented to this um, one object, this one bone. When I scale this bone, the uh, targets kind of scale with it. And as you can see, because they scale smoothly with it, the uh, finger bones will stretch to try to uh, meet those. And what happens is you get this kind of uh, flaring effect flaring kind of fanning effect and also you can because it's trying to meet the rotations as well just by rotating this you get a nice um, you get nice effects like uh, the bones uh, the fingers trying to reach that and whatnot so it's it's really uh, quite easy to set up and uh, you have a lot of power and control over it I hope my explanation uh, makes sense there to you but uh, if you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments section. But again, an overview is uh, we have, um, let's go back to the orthogonal or 
octagon bones. Um, we have uh, this kind of target holder and the targets. The targets are parented to this, and this is parented. The uh, target holder is parented to this hinge. All the finger joints are parented to the hinge as well. And then finally, each uh, finger bone is IK constrained to one of these targets, okay, which are parented to this uh, target holder. And, and ju again, just by moving, rotating, and scaling this uh, target holder, uh, you have uh, pretty good control over the wing. Uh, and I hope that uh, helps you out in your Blender endeavors.